it's Chris Duker for GeekNerdNet.com. I have the 2023 Edmonton Expo, and I am excited to be standing here with Nat Jones. Hello, Nat. Hey, guys. Hey, man. So, uh, artist extraordinaire over the years, you got your your, your big start in uh, with Spawn, correct? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I uh, started on Spawn the Dark Ages. Uh, issues like 15 is where I took over for that. Uh, did up to issue 28. Um, and I was in my early twenties then, so yeah. Yeah, it was quite nice. the experience. Nice, and I, you know, I've I've seen you at a lot of shows that I've been to over the years, and we just finally had a chat uh, like back in Calgary earlier this year. Uh, so thanks for taking time to chat with me about all your career and stuff. Um, just as we were talking before we started recording, you're you know give me a bit of rundown on everything you've done, and uh, and obviously you know Rob Zombie's going to stick out. So do you want to talk a bit about that and your work there? Oh, yeah. Um, well, that was, uh, we did The Nail uh, through Dark Horse. Uh, yeah. Steve Niles and Rob wrote the book, yeah. and I did the art for that. That was a blast. Uh, Steve and I had worked together already uh, on Spawn and on Doc, uh, Spawn the Dark Ages, and then on some 30 Days of Night stuff as well. So when I had the opportunity to work with him and Rob on The Nail, it was, it was a blast to work on. Yeah, that's cool. And how long was that from, I guess, from concept to production to publication like how, how how long was that working relationship uh for all of for the group of you um well through the uh i'm not really sure yeah. uh a lot of years ago uh yeah, but yeah. it's probably cool. about six months that we were working on the nail um i have done some bit stuff with rob afterwards and i'm sure steve has done stuff with rob too so yeah that's very cool man um talk about you know you you do the you're based in edmonton you do the convention circuit a lot um just from going show to show do you see uh fans from all you know different eras of your career in that like hey i i loved this or i love that or you just have one in particular that sort of keeps coming back for you uh in terms of a work of uh that you worked on well spawn has always got a large fan base and i think we're actually seeing a resurgence of spawn fandom right now yeah. um but you know i've worked with chaos or so work with uh, a lot of horror properties so um you know they horror stuff always has that strong tight fan base that you know, follows that genre um and i also uh, have a clothing line now which is more in the alt goth punk kind of area cool. so i have fans that come out of that as well nice so, when did you start the clothing line uh, my wife and i really went uh, in full about five years ago uh we have a store now we sell online uh, the name of the company is lewis mayhem um and it's really just kind of catering to the kind of clothing that we want to wear, yeah. the kind of stuff that we like. So, yeah, yeah. yeah man, you've all, and I mean this as a compliment. You've always got this sort of like kind of cool punk goth vibe to me. Like every time I go by your your table, I'm like, no, I'm not intimidated. It's fine. He's a cool guy. I'm gonna go talk to him. On this, some dude in a like collared short sleeve shirt. <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I mean it as a compliment, man. Well, that's kind of the thing. You know, we come from that background. That was one reason that. Uh, Steve Niles and I like really bonded so well. He comes from that same background, that, that the music scene. Um, and working with Rob is kind of the same way. We all come from that same group. Um, yeah. You That's know, awesome. we this yeah we artists, punks, goths. Yeah. You know, like metal guys. It's that's, a great mix. Yeah, that, right? that's home. You know? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. And then uh, like. Do you have some stuff stuff coming up, or are you like focus on the clothing line? How, what uh, sort of current um, works are you doing? Um, I've done a couple of things recently for some people that uh, haven't been announced yet, yeah. so I can't really say that's, anything that's about fair. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, over the last few years, I did several books with uh, uh, Storm King yeah. comics, so uh, working with uh, John Carpenter, I did 13 Horsemen over there. Steve and I did another book over there uh, called uh, Sacred Hearts, and I actually, I think that the most recent thing, uh, the thing that's coming out next is i've got an installment in uh the anthology series from storm king so oh, cool. that's going to be coming out uh probably the next couple of weeks or so nice how'd you get involved with carpenter how did that come about uh that association really came from steve uh steve contacted me because he was talking with sandy over there and she's wonderful uh, amazing people to work with and uh we were going to do a book. Uh, we did a book called Sacred Hearts. And when we finished that, I was pitching some ideas back and forth for the next thing that we would do with Steve. And I came up with the idea for a story called 13 Horsemen. And uh, I pitched that to Steve. And Steve said, I, what do you need me for? Like, go do it yourself. Pitch it to them. So I pitched that to Sandy. And she said, OK. So I did that book, which I wrote 
penciled, ink colored, did everything on aside from uh, you know lettering and stuff. But I did all the the, the main core stuff, and yeah, just it's wonderful working with them because they're, they're creatives, and it's wonderful to work with uh, a company that has creative people at the head of it yeah so. like they get it right yeah yeah they totally get it nice that's cool and then was this your first foray into doing like everything like writing lettering coloring art um, i had done bits and pieces but to do an entire it was a basically a six issue series yeah um that was collected into a trade and it was my first time doing anything that scale yeah. all by myself so wow. yeah. that's really cool man um and then obviously so you've got a cool pin collection here i just just noticed as we're talking uh when did you start doing those um, well, that was kind of a thing. Um, I've got a, Mina, the bat cat, is a character I created many years ago. She was based off of actually my cat, Mina, um, that went missing. And following that, I painted a painting, and people loved it. And I did more paintings and more paintings. And she eventually became a character in a book that I've created called Eden's Wrath. And um, I was looking at ways to kind of, you know, doing clothing now and, like, how can I what are different options for creating art? Yeah. And I looked at enamel pins and I thought, well, let's try designing for that. Nice. And I did a Kickstarter with those and it went really well. And uh, it was a really fun experience because it's a, a completely different approach to art right. um, to design for somebody to actually stamp it into metal yeah. and fill it with enamel and like, you know, yeah. to create that kind of stuff. So and that was... Oh. Oh. You mentioned that your, it was your cat that went missing. Yes. Was she ever no. found? no. I think she had, she was getting on in years and she had always been inside and she decided one day she wanted to go out. So I think she was doing the thing that uh, many cats do where they decide to to leave the home to go for end of life. And so, but she lives on now through the stories and through the art. Nice. Yeah, I've had the same, as you can tell. Uh, But that's, I mean, you know, just knowing that, I'm sorry. Uh, But also, is it almost cathartic, like doing that kind of work? for her right like you it is is. i think it it helps to kind of process that kind of stuff i think anytime you deal with a loss or something that you ever you know loved um if you can help that to live on and to you know to have that story and it's a it helps you to to, to, yeah that's awesome well hey uh nat jones man thank you so much for taking time to talk to me i'm sorry it took so so damn long to talk to you after all these years uh but it's great that we are um and i can't wait to talk to you again and uh want before we go let people know where they can find you your clothing line all your art and socials and stuff like that well you can find me online natjones.com you can also find me on all social media platforms just look up nat jones um clothing company is lewismayhem.com l-e-w-i-s-m-a-y-h-e-m and we also have a store in edmonton on white ave awesome thanks man thank you man thanks